about the backdrop here and whether or not you're expecting the economic story to improve from here. You know, when, when lawmakers came out with the tax cut plan, we were talking about the potential for 4% economic growth in 2018. Is that something that you see? What will be the impact of the tax plan? Most people don't think this is going to be near term, but it's going to have a long runway. Well, uh, that's a great question. Uh, I think the tax plan is a, a, a net positive, and as you mentioned in the beginning, particularly for smaller companies, uh, larger companies uh, were playing a game where the, the, the posted tax rate really wasn't what they were paying. And now uh, we can get a more direct and clear view of their earnings, but they, they weren't paying that much more than the current tax rate. So for some of the large international companies, uh, it's not going to be a big boost. But for a lot of the small companies, uh, I I think it'll be very, very helpful, and, you know, they create a lot of jobs. What about the rollback in regulations? I want to get your sense on these policies coming out of Washington, because the rollback in regulations is just at the beginning. We, we, we understand that the president is going to look at Dodd-Frank, the financial legislation, and perhaps roll things back there, maybe roll back the vocal rule. Is that going to be impactful? I actually think it will. I think uh, we got very overregulated. <clears throat> Less regulation will help. Uh, there are a lot of things that shouldn't have been done that uh, usually overregulation doesn't help them. Uh, it just adds extra burden. Uh, you know, a lot of the things, if uh, uh, a lot of the things that go wrong, let's say the Enrons of the world, these are people who are willing to do criminal things that were illegal beforehand. So, you know, throwing on a lot of uh, extra. Uh, regulations isn't going to help. Also, extra regulation has really killed the small banks, uh, if you're talking Dodd-Frank. And, uh, and, you know, so it's tough to get loans if you're a small business. And, and if it gets eased up and they can compete a little better, uh, that, that'll help the economy as well. So I think we overregulated. I think, le you know, regulation is important, but uh, less than where we were would be a big benefit to the economy. Let me ask you, Joel, about the short side of the portfolio and these smaller names, the small caps, which have run up so much. How significant a sell-off might we see in some of these names, given the fact that this is a group that really benefited from new policies earlier than others? Yeah, uh, even if you add in the benefit, uh, they're still very expensive on average. You know, I'm not uh, good at predicting short-term market moves, but once again, stocks are ownership shares of businesses. Uh, they're not pieces of paper that bounce around. So they're expensive. There'll be a time where people are a little more negative, and, and there'll be better oppor buying opportunities there. Uh, and, I, and I don't like to mention individual uh, uh, small cap shorts. You know, we are short some uh, large caps. Uh, you know, Salesforce is trading at 65 times earnings. It's a good business, but uh, uh, they've been growing their sales, uh, but not their earnings for quite a long time. And so that's not a really good sign. And, uh, you know, there's uh, Activision uh, Blizzard, which is a game manufacturer, uh, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty. These are hot games, but uh, they're not hot forever, and they need more hits. But yet it's trading at 40 times uh, pre-tax. So uh, there's opportunities there. They're expensive. Not uh, These aren't scams. These aren't uh, bad things. They're just very, very expensive. And so I think uh, after a period of prolonged uh, markets tripled over the last, you know, eight years or so, uh, people start throwing caution to the wind and paying a lot of money for these small caps, paying a lot of money for these large caps. And so the opportunity will come. I can't predict where, but from these valuation levels, uh, it's more dangerous.